What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm using Flow to help my fiance's brand new small business. All right guys, here we are at my desk. And if you have watched any of my previous adventure videos or community videos, uh, you might have seen my fiance Alicia. Well, what you might not know is she's an artist and she draws things. And so uh, she, we just actually built her a website for her business to start selling her drawings. And so uh, you can see here, that's her website, alishamitchum.com. And uh, she's got some featured pieces, a little bit about her, and then a nice little slider down here. You can sign up for a newsletter. And then there's like a catalog of all her drawings, right? And you can just browse through these. And then what we wanted was a lot of people want commissions, right? Custom art. And so what we decided to do was build a form, uh, a Microsoft form actually, and put it in a little iframe here in the website. And so people can come here and they can fill out a couple pieces of information, their name, their email address, what do they want drawn, what size do they like, how soon do they want it, uh, and that's it. And then they can hit submit. And then what I've done is uh, I've actually, of course, gone and built a flow. So let's go ahead now and jump into that flow and kind of look at what it does. First things first, head to flow.microsoft.com. Go ahead and get signed in. Now, we went ahead and bought Alicia a uh, Office 365 plan uh, for her small business. And we also uh, bought Flow Plan 1, of course, to make sure that we have all the premium connectors and can do a lot of the coolest things. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into my flows and look at the custom drawing request flow. Now you can see here, was building the flow, doing a bit of testing. Uh, and so had some failures happening because I was I was messing up a delay in there. But anyways, you can see our last few runs. Look, uh, looks like here's my test. And then yesterday we had a couple people actually request some drawings. So let's go ahead and jump into here and edit the flow. So we can see that it, it starts with forms, right? Because we created the Microsoft form, custom drawing request, first name, last name, email. You saw it on the website. So we go into the flow and we start with when a new response is submitted to the form custom drawing request then what we do is every time we build the form flow if you've watched any of my forms videos you'll know we always put in the action get response details okay and so that then drops everything into and apply to each and so then we get the response details of every response submitted to the custom drawing request form okay now what we're going to do from there is all the fun stuff, right? So this is just collecting the information. The best part about flow is we get to decide what do we want to do with that information. And so we, we thought a couple things would be useful for Alicia, right? So the first one is uh, we made a SharePoint site where all of the drawing um, requests will come into. So then this way she doesn't have to be going between SharePoint and Forms, whatever Forms to try and find that data, then move it somewhere else out of that Excel because, you know, Excel isn't a long-term reliable database. You want to use something else. And so we decided on a SharePoint list. So the first next thing in the flow is we create a customer entry in the SharePoint list. Okay, so we take all the information from the form and we just map it to a couple of fields that we feel like we really need to track over here okay simple now next thing is uh, we want it to send her an email with the details right so it sends her an email me at alishamidram.com new drawing request from the first and last name of the person to give you a little bit of details and then it just says there's a brand new drawing request view all of the material or all the details here which links back to where the SharePoint site entry Okay, so now in her email, boom, she clicks on that, takes her to the listing. She gets all the details of the new request. Great. Now, if we stop there, that would be pretty useful, but we don't. Okay, what do we do next? We then installed the Flow mobile app on her phone. 
And so we then say, let's send her a mobile notification. Maybe she's not next to her email, but she's next to her phone. So we send a push notification that says, hey, there's a new drawing request. What's it do? It links to the SharePoint. Where? Why? Because it's the single source of truth. And so then we just put a little label, click here to view the details, right? So that's what shows up in the push notification. She clicks that. She's taken where to the SharePoint. Okay, easy peasy. Now, next thing is we want to communicate with the user further, right? So what we do is we add the delay action and we say delay for one hour. And, and why do we do this? It's just like a little bit of psychology. It, it's just to make the user feel like this isn't an automated email, like this is actually a response to them from a person because te people tend to dislike automated emails, um, even though you can put a personal touch on it. And so then what do we do? We send after one hour, it sends an email to the person. So we grab the email out of the form. We then say, thanks for requesting a custom drawing. And then we do hello, first name, out of the form. And how did we get that there? Uh, that's pretty easy. So if we just remove that, we can go ahead and re-add it. So when you click in the box, you'll notice this tray comes out. And this is the dynamic content tray. And so over here, we'll see all the fields from all the previous steps. And so we can see right here, first name is one of the dynamic fields that we can request out of that form. So we just go ahead and add that into our email to then dynamically create these emails because we know that this is their email address from the form. And so then we can just go ahead and personalize this a little bit and add their name from the form. So we say, hello, first name. Thanks so much for requesting a custom drawing. I'm going to take a look at your responses and get back to you. And now this is, these are the main parts of why we're doing this. Okay. In the meantime, if you want to add anything else or ask any questions, please feel free to respond here. This gives them an opportunity to request something they may have forgotten or add additional details. Uh, also, you, we add her social media information here. And so her YouTube channel that she started where she's recording her drawings or also her Instagram page, which is really her main source of traffic because uh, that's where all of the followers are for her art. And then it's also one more key piece. It says you should also receive a second email with an invitation to join my mailing list to see my monthly art newsletter. Please do take a look for that as well. And so the reason we add this here is because sometimes these um, automated email request to add someone to a newsletter, which we're going to get to in a second, they'll go to spam. And so I just want the person to be on the lookout for it. It increases the chances that they'll accept. Okay. Now the final step is we go ahead and we add them to her MailChimp where MailChimp is a great place. If you're a small business uh, to start a newsletter, I think you can mail 2000 people a month. Uh, absolutely free and then they start to charge you after that but it's really low charges so we went ahead and started an account with MailChimp for her and then what we do is we say we're going to add a member to the mailing list okay and so now what this does is it adds them to the Alicia Mitchum art mailing list now this is the one important part I want to really note with you okay you get an option here to choose the status in which you'd like to add them um, you know, you might be tempted to just go ahead and subscribe them, uh, but that's actually against a lot of mailing laws and rules and things. The proper thing to do is actually to go ahead and add them as pending. Okay. And now you add their email address, first name and last name to the list. But what happens here is if you add them as pending, the MailChimp email server will actually send them an email and say, Hey, would you like to be added? to the Alicia Mitchum art mailing list, yes or no. And it actually gives them an opportunity to opt in or out, and they don't have to really like talk to you about it so it's not awkward, it's just a private thing. And so it makes it very easy for everyone because now if they want to be subscribed to your content, they can be. If they don't want to be, they don't have to be. And so this is actually a really, really handy tool uh, for her and her small business as you know she needs all of the marketing opportunities she can get at very low cost, right? And so MailChimp is just a great thing that's, uh, that I think is gonna help her a lot. So that's it though, that's the flow. So let's go and take a look really quick though um, at, at a little bit of these. Okay, so I showed you the SharePoint site and the form. 
So now if we go here to the mail, we can see what one of these looks like. There's a brand new drawing request. You can see new drawing request from Daniel Askowitz. And then we can go here to the actual entry and you can see here, Sandy and me would love to have a cool logo for the Flow Pro Show. Okay, so that's one of them. So, and that's actually real. Uh, there, she's she's just finished that for them, and and you'll see their new logo coming out. Um, and then another one for a new logo for someone else. Uh, and so then also you can see here the email that it sends out. It actually looks halfway decent um, for just something that you can throw together in in you know an action. You know, it it has all the info we need. So that works out pretty well also um, and yeah and so guys that's it so what we've done now is we've created a drawing request form we created an automated response we've created notifications for Alicia so that she can understand uh, when a new request has come in and be able to take action on it quickly right because this being her business she wants to make sure that you know she can act on these things accordingly then we go ahead and delay to add a little bit of personal touch before we email the user and then add them to the mailing list and let them choose if they want to be a part of it or not. And that's it guys. So if you want some custom art, go ahead and head over to Alicia's site and check it out. Uh, I'll go ahead and link it in the description and go ahead and put it right here on the screen. But uh, other than that, this is it. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and click the little bell so you get notified and you don't miss another video. And, as always, much love from me. I'll see you guys in the next video.